Some say music is a universal language. So why don't we use singing to interact with computers? Hi, I'm Graham Zink. On behalf of myself and my co-author, Daniel Vogel, I'm presenting an evaluation of how singing can be used for computer input. Nonverbal features of the voice can be useful for input. They tend to be hands-free, language agnostic, and simple to process. Thus, they have applications in hands-free devices like smart speakers, glasses, and car infotainment systems. They also have accessibility use cases. We examine how singing can be used for similar objectives. Some past work has explored using singing for keyboard input and video games. One study evaluated how effectively people can sing specific pitches, but it was limited to singing only one pitch, and it did not consider what interactions might be musically appealing. We evaluate three interaction techniques involving one, two, and three notes in sequence. The pitch technique involves singing a single note. Uh, uh. A visualization shows the pitch recognized with a blue arc at the appropriate note. The interval technique involves singing two notes in sequence. Uh, the visualization shows a blue arc from the first to the last note recognized. For simplicity, we only evaluate seven intervals that ascend from the tonic, note one. The melody technique involves singing three or more notes in sequence. Uh, uh, uh. We use dynamic time warping to match singing with one of seven melodies. The visualization shows the melody recognized using two arcs from the first note to the second, and from the second to the third. We evaluate seven simple three-note melodies, but in practice, many more are possible. All seven variations of the techniques use notes from the major scale. Our experiments consider how background music can affect performance. For each technique, we ran an online experiment with 21 participants to evaluate its feasibility and enjoyability. Before they began, participants calibrated the system to suit their vocal range. Then, they were asked to sing target pitches, intervals, or melodies indicated on screen. Experiments had three stages, a pre-training evaluation, a training stage, and a post-training evaluation. One block in each evaluation had solo piano background music. The other did not. The training stage consisted of similar tasks, except audio prompts played the notes to sing. Performance varied widely. To illustrate this, we used k-means to classify participants into three skill levels, novice, intermediate, and expert. Skill was correlated with some measures of musical experience, but interestingly, some non-musicians performed well and some musicians performed poorly. For all techniques, experts consistently had error rates under 10% after training. Novices, on the other hand, had a 35 to 46% error rate. This shows our techniques are very effective for some people, but not for some others. For most techniques, we found that time per trial was largely unaffected by factors including skill, training, and background music. For further details, refer to our paper. Participant feedback also highlighted differences in preferences. Most participants rated tasks as enjoyable, 
Others found tasks stressful and difficult. Our techniques are likely best suited for motivated users who want to sing. While background music had minimal effect on both error rate and time, the majority of participants found tasks easier when music was present. In our paper, we highlight a series of design considerations for using singing interactions. In this presentation, we focus on pitch granularity, which is relevant for making the interactions easier to perform. Using logged data, we compared performance when pitch detection distinguished between 12, 7, and 3 possible notes. For novices in particular, reducing granularity reduces error rates by up to 25%. However, this comes at a cost. Fewer notes mean fewer interactions are possible. We recommend using a granularity of 7 notes for most contexts. We envision multiple application domains for singing interactions, both for shortcuts in traditional desktop environments or as the primary input for hands-free devices. We highlight two examples of how singing interactions can be used in real life. This mock-up of a drawing application envisions how singing a specific pitch could switch tools like pen and eraser. Singing an interval could adjust parameters like brush size. And singing a melody could perform command shortcuts like copy and paste. Singing interactions could also facilitate hands-free interactions with AR glasses. This mock-up of a 3D block construction application explores how some pitches could place colored blocks, another pitch could delete blocks, and melodies could perform commands like save and clear. Our evaluation of singing interactions demonstrates potential for singing input in traditional and ubiquitous computing. While challenging and error-prone for some people, the techniques are highly effective for those with musical and technological experience. They are hands-free and language agnostic, opening the door to musical interactions in a wide variety of computing environments.